Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to walk through the installation of Visual Studio for Mac and we'll run our first program once the installation is complete and it opens up with a scaffold default project for us. And Visual Studio is the editor that will be used for CPSC 1012 and it's available for both Windows and Mac computers. In this video, I'll be doing the installation for Visual Studio for Mac, and I've, I've got another video that I recorded earlier that shows how to go through the same process and steps on a Windows machine. So if you have Windows, be sure to check out that video. Now you can download Visual Studio online from the Azure for Education website. All you're gonna have to do once you get there is sign in with your Nate student account details and then it'll take you to the page and you can download the free software. So let's get it. Okay, so you can see here, I've already got the Moodle site open. Now you'll notice that my Moodle instance here looks a little bit different from your class instance. And that's just because this is the master Moodle course that I use to make all the different instances from. So everything should look pretty much the same, if, if not identical, the links and everything should be in the same place you should be able to follow along in your actual class instance. Um, but just to make things a little bit easier, you, you could open a tab and just type in the Azure for Education website address. Um, but I've also included a link here. So if you just scroll down a little bit in the Moodle instance, you'll see a section here for course resources and links. And the, the first link here, if you click on that, that'll take you to the download website. Like it says here, a little note underneath. You'll have to log in with your uh, Nate account email address. So I'm just going to open this up in a in a new tab And we can see what that looks like so it, it may take a, a moment for you for this to load up But it should get there and, and you'll notice here. It gives you a little note Students are almost there. There's a pile of stuff. That's you know available and you just have to sign in using the button below and you'll be taken to a page for you to sign in with your account so I've already signed in so this might not prompt me, but if you do get prompted to sign in with a Microsoft account, just type in your Nate email account and you should be fine. So I'm just gonna click on the sign in button here. And it'll take a moment for this to load up. But like I said, if, if you don't come right to this page, you probably won't. You'll just have to sign in with your Nate student account. And then once you do that, you should be brought to a page that looks something like this. So the Azure Education Hub page has got links to the resources, learning, and things like that. But for now, all we really care about is downloading the free software. So find this, this button here that says Download Software and click on that. And it'll bring you up to a page. That it's got, a, in this time, 138 different software product items that we could choose from. And you could scroll through the list and see what's available. There's, there's quite a few things that you get access to as a Nate student. But uh, for us right now, we don't really care about all those. We just want to install Visual Studio for Mac. So in the search box up at the top here, I'm just going to start typing in Visual Studio uh, 2019, and it'll narrow the field down for you. You should see that once you've typed this in, you're left with you know somewhere around four items, depending on, on when you're accessing the site. And the version that we're interested in here is this Visual Studio 2019 for Mac, right? If you were on a Windows machine, then you're not going to want uh, this version. Like I said, I walked through another version. You're going to download and install the Community 2019 version. But if you're on your Mac and you found this link, then give it a click. It's going to pull open a sidebar here that just kind of confirms the details of the software you selected. Your operating system is a Mac, 64-bit. And then you can go ahead and click on the Download button. And then that's just going to want to save the installer to your machine in your Downloads folder. So I've gone through this process once before, so I've already got it saved. But you just select this button uh, to save the file and click OK, and then that'll save it to your machine. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Finder here. And once I get into my downloads, you can see that the DMG, the installer for Mac, is, is available. And so all you've got to do at this stage is just double-click this, and that'll open up the, the DMG file and you'll get presented with this page for the installer. So if you just double click this icon here, that's gonna fire up the installer for you. 
and you might get prompted for the system password. So it's going to try to make changes to your system. You're going to have to give it um, permission. So you're still going to click on open to allow it to run. And then you're going to be presented with the installer page. It's going to say, hey, thanks for downloading. You know, you're going to go through all these things. Do you want to read the privacy and license terms? You, you can, but you want the software, so you're going to accept them anyways. And so you just click on continue and then just work your way through the wizard. So it's going to ask, what do you want to install? Okay. So Visual Studio for Mac, obviously that's fine. Um, and you'll notice here on mine, it says it's already installed because I've gone through this process already. But on your system, what you want to do is make sure that this box is checked for the .NET Core. It should be checked by default, but just in case it isn't, make sure that that box right here is checked. And then once you finish with that, then you're going to be able to carry on with the, the install process. Okay, now it's going to take a little while for the install to complete. Um, but once it does finally finish, you should be presented with a screen that says, you know, hello, connect your developer services. So you, you could sign in with the Microsoft account here if you want, but there's no requirement to, to have to do that. So you can do that later. Just, just click on the I'll do this later box. And that'll take you to another screen where you'll get to choose your keyboard layout. So if you already have a preference, maybe you've already been doing some coding in Visual Studio Code or something like that, and you could choose a different uh, keyboard shortcut option. But if this doesn't mean anything to you, you don't know what it's asking for here, you can just stick with the defaults, the Visual Studio for Mac, and then click on your Continue button. Okay. And then once that's done, it should bring you up to a screen here that says, hey, you're going to create a new project. And then you can go ahead and, and choose a console application. Okay, so I've, I've got my Visual Studio started up, and it's asking me, do you want to open an existing project if you have one. Um, but for our case here, we're going to want to create a, a new one. So you click on this, and then it's going to bring you to the next screen where you can choose the template for your project. So there's a couple of options here, um, but the one that we care about is under .NET Core. And if you click on App, that'll give you the types of, of apps that are available. And we just want to go with the, the top level one here under General, which is our console application. And just make sure this little drop down here shows C Sharp. That's the language that we're going to use to program in CPSC 1012. If you click on the drop down, you get a couple of options here, uh, but C Sharp is the one that we want to use. And so that once that's done, you just go ahead and, and click on next. And it's going to bring you to a configuration page. And all it wants to know here is what do you want to call your project? Okay. There's two names here. There's a project and a solution. Uh, you don't have to know too much about that right now. A, a project is any individual kind of project, you're going to create a program, and the solution is a container for a project or multiple projects. And, and for this course, we'll pretty much just create individual project solutions for all the little programs we're going to create. So what you can do is just type in here, uh, hello world. Okay. So this is going to create our first hello world project, and you'll notice that the solution name gets mapped to that. And then it, it also shows you over here on the right side, a preview of of where it's going to create that. So right now my default location is in my user directory slash projects. So I could see that here. And, and this is just going to create a folder with the same name as the project. And it's going to create a solution and project files in there. And those are just settings files that hold details for the project. So Visual Studio knows what to do with it. Okay. And, and then there's an option here to create a project directory within. We don't need to do that. If you check this box, you'll notice all it does is just add another layer of of projects inside the solution. And, and we don't need to do that. That just adds more layers for us to access our, our project files. So you can leave that unchecked. Um, we're not gonna use any version control or anything for this, this first project. So once that's entered in there, if you wanna choose a new location, you can browse to somewhere else to, to do that too. But for now, the default for me is okay. I'm just gonna click on create. And that's gonna send uh, Visual Studio off to do its thing. And then once it's finished, just expand this here, it's going to create uh, a little project here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's a bit larger for you guys to see here. And, and this is it. Okay, so over on the left, you can see our solution explorer. Uh, it shows us the solution and our project, right? It's a console app, hello world. We can see we've got some dependencies, which we don't need to, to get into. 
And then here's this capital P program.cs. And, and this is the file that, that's being displayed here in the editor space. Okay, so the name of the file you'll notice here is also the same as the name that's up in the, the tab. Uh, and then we can see some, the code, which is just plain text uh, down here in the editor. We've got some line numbers over here so we can navigate through our code. And then there's just some boilerplate that was scaffolded for us because we, we chose this default project. Now I've got a Hello World video that walks through all the different details uh, of this particular program and shows you how to make some edits. So I'm not going to do that in this video. You can, you can follow along on that one there. But I will show you here just briefly how you can go about running your programs from Visual Studio Mac. It's very similar to what you would have to do in Visual Studio on Windows, um, but because the interface is a little bit different, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit different. So in this case, we've got a program. There's only a single statement here, which is just to ask the console to write a line. And the, the text that we wanted to write out is hello world. We can see that here. And to, to run this program, all you've got to do is click on this play button icon up in the top. Okay, and if you hover over it, it tells you this will run the project or projects that exist in the solution. Um, we only have one, so that's fine. So if you click on this, it's going to build the project. And then we're going to get our terminal. And it's going to show us our output. Now, you, you might get prompted for a system password because the first time Visual Studio tries to access the terminal, it's going to need your permission. But once you, you grant it permission, you shouldn't have to do that again. And so you can see here now in my terminal, the, the output from our program. So here where it says, hello world, exclamation, that's being displayed in the terminal. And then if we press any key, that ends the, the program. And then we could just close our, our terminal. It just opens another window here um, when it fires up the application. And so that's it. Um, so that's the walkthrough for downloading and installing Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. And we created our first project. And we even executed or ran our first default program. So please go and check out the Hello World video that walks through uh, the different parts and the details of this statement. And you should be OK to get through, even though you're on a Mac. Like I said, once you get into Visual Studio, the code is the same. Execution is marginally different. But I feel pretty confident you'll be able to follow along just fine. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video.